If you think about trauma, and I'm going to use simple metaphors, if you think about trauma, that when, when the body moves into a state of arousal, either through a trauma or through a, a uh, toxic stress environment or through repetitive um, minor stresses that accumulate, your body enters this aroused state and then symptoms emerge. And those symptoms emerge as a result of having arousal in the body. And if you want to use a simple metaphor for that, you can think of it as this, is that when the body emerges into arousal, it's like the body moving into Hulk mode, if you're familiar with Marvel Comics. They've moved out of Bruce Banner mode and into Hulk mode. Well, that's great. Um, we recognize that, but you cannot do therapy with the Hulk. You need Bruce Banner in order to, to do therapy. So regardless of the model of treatment that you decide to use, the first order of business is get them back into Bruce Banner mind, Bruce Banner brain, if you will, get them into a place where they have their executive functioning, where they have access to executive functioning, where they can create distinctions, they can create sequence, they can um, look at a process without becoming emotionally overcharged by it. That's really important if you're going to do any form of trauma therapy. So there again, there is a good systemic model. Um, again, the internal family systems model. Another good systemic model for working with trauma is Charles Figley's um, uh, uh, family empowerment model which it looks at, looks at trauma, dealing with trauma through a systemic family approach. Um, the in, the uh, um, internal family systems approach that, that uh, Richard kind of pioneered and put together is based on individual, uh, the, the system and co of complexity within an individual, uh, and it's, it's also very good.